Thank you. And I'm trusting that we're going to get the uh, microphone adjusted. So at times, if I'm extremely loud, it, it will adjust. And hopefully, hopefully there aren't the times when it's so low that you can't hear me. Uh, and even though we've had a, quite a snowy and frigid start to our semester, I hope all of you as students have gotten off to, to a good start. Um, because we've had some challenges uh, with, with the start of this uh, semester. But as I start uh, today, I want to share with you enrollment numbers this morning. And then I'm going to update you on the status of the 2013-2014 budget. And then finally, I will share a few items of interest uh, to you as well, or with you. As always, when I discuss these three items, I would like you to keep in mind the three goals for the university. And one, that is to focus on our core mission of the university, which is the academic education of our students. Also, to stabilize our enrollment. And then thirdly, to restore financial stability to our university. So I'm going to start first with enrollment. For the spring 2014 semester, we have, unfortunately, again, a decline in our headcount of approximately 5.2% compared to uh, spring of 2013. And as you can see, both our undergraduate and graduate headcounts have decreased. We are continuing to work on stabilizing our enrollment. And I know that our enrollment staff is working hard. Our marketing is beginning to take off. And I know that Cal U is a great institution of higher learning, a good value with much to offer. We need to continue getting the word out to prospective students and their families. Several initiatives are underway that can help to combat this decline in enrollment. And in addition, we must help you our students to stay enrolled and complete your degrees. Regarding our budget, at last fall's convocation, I explained that we would examine every aspect of our university spending plan with the goal of putting the university's finances in order and stop spending money that we don't have. We have been very successful in that regard. And as we plan for the future and the viability of this university for many years to come, this is not an easy task and it requires constant attention. And as I reported at the fall convocation a few weeks ago with the faculty and staff, we ended the 2012-2013 year without a deficit. And for this fiscal year, we are, we are on track to again in the year without a deficit. Vice President Thorne reports that we are anticipating a year-end surplus to be approximately $866,000. Even with this projection of a small surplus, we still face financial pressures by a combination of flat and declining state appropriations, increased personnel cost, and continuing enrollment challenges. Cabinet members and I have spent many, many hours examining our budget and always keeping in mind our core mission of providing a quality education for you, our students. Our work is not done and it continues daily. We know that whatever affects you, our students, we are then determined to provide that quality education that you deserve. Now on to accreditation news. And I hope you are aware that academic programs that are nationally accredited make your diploma even more valuable. So I am pleased to share some good news in that regard. Both our Bachelor of Science in Nursing and our Master of Science in Nursing Leadership and Administration programs have been accredited by the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. The BSN, designed for registered nurses, was accredited through 2023. The online MSN received its initial accreditation through 2018. The bachelor's degree in graphics and multimedia also have been reaccredited. 
The Accrediting Council for Collegiate Graphic Communications extended its accreditation through 2015. In addition, we received confirmation that our Master of Science program in, clinic, in clinical mental health and our Master of Education in school counseling were both accredited through March 31st of 2022 by the Council for the Accreditation of Counseling and Related Education Programs, KCREP. But that's not all. I am pleased to report that the Department of Business and Economics has applied to begin the accreditation process with the Accreditation Council for Business Schools and Programs. Accreditation of our business program will do much to help us spread the word about the excellent quality of these programs. Many faculty members and staff members have been involved in working on these accreditations, all with the goal of providing strong programs for you, our students. Employers in graduate schools know the value of program accreditation, and I hope you also take pride in knowing that your university and its programs measure up to the high standards. Having great academic programs also means that we need to get the word out about these programs. And our new marketing campaign, which began in December, will help to accomplish this. How many of you have seen our TV uh, commercial on uh, TV? Can I see a show of hands? Okay, very good. The campaign known as The World is Waiting is an evolution of our university's brand. Our last campaign used animation to show the transformation of Cal U's facilities and campus. The new campaign goes beyond our physical image and showcases the core of what makes our university so special. You, our engaged students, along with our faculty and staff. And it puts a special focus on the applied learning that today's world demands. The new uh, television commercial, which you view, viewed right before the commercial began, I know the volume was a little low, but that was the commercial that we showed, has begun running in high profile programming, including college football playoffs, the Grammy Awards show, and the local Super Bowl broadcast. You will see it throughout our local coverage of the Winter Olympics, too, as well as on KDKA's Technology Today show on April 19th and May 3rd. There is a link on our homepage, so you can view the commercial that way as well. The campaign also includes local print advertising, radio ads, and billboards, as well as the spectacular brand awareness element at the Cal U ice rink at PBG Place. And myself and a number of others were at PBG Place on Monday, no, Tuesday, uh, this week for an ice skating rink. So if you get the opportunity, go to Pittsburgh and go on the ice rink. And while you are there, you will see the Cal U logo throughout the uh, PBG ice rink, along with the Zamboni that has many of, not many, but all of our programs are covered on that Zamboni. And maybe even some of you in this room may find your photo on that Zamboni. The goal of this marketing campaign is to attract new students by showcasing our current students, our academic programs, and our great faculty, and the services that our well-trained staff can offer. Another initiative that we are very excited about that directly benefits you is the Cal U Center for Life, not the Cal U Center for Life, the Cal U Center for Undergraduate Research. Undergraduate research has been identified as a high impact practice in higher education. It has the power to improve your learning experience, to help you develop critical thinking, to prepare you for careers, and to promote an innovation-oriented culture here on our campus. To harness that power, 
The Center for Undergraduate Research at Cal U will work to enhance and expand undergraduate research across the three undergraduate colleges. Dr. Greg Gould has been appointed director of Cal U's Center for Undergraduate Research. And this semester, he will begin inventory, the inventorying of existing undergraduate research on campus. He'll start to organize an advisory council for undergraduate research with representation from many groups across campus. And he'll begin with engaging faculty to advance undergraduate research. So keep listening. You will hear much more about this initiative in the coming months. I want to give you just a brief update on university governance. As you may know, the university's Council of Trustees dissolved the university farm in June of 2013. Last semester, I appointed a task force to review shared governance at Cal U. Its chair is Dr. Craig Smith, history professor and chair of the faculty senate. Other representatives on campus are included as well, including two of your fellow students who are currently serving on this task force. I charge the task force to examine the shared governance structure on campus and make recommendations to codify, simplify, and streamline it. The task force is meeting regularly this spring, and I look forward to providing updates to you on the task force as it continues its work. Now I want to give you a brief update on the Natali Student Center revitalization. Phase one of the project is well underway, and we expect it to be completed by July of 2015. If you remember, online surveys and focus groups helped us to identify areas of need, such as a larger food court, a larger convenience store, more public lounge space, a coffee house, and a quiet lounge space. Those requests have been taken into account along with other additions to the Natali Student Center. And when the project is completed, you will see new space for student organizations and enhanced student services, including career services, the Office of Civic Engagement and Student Government, expanded commuter services with more lounges and conversation areas for our commuter students, new entrances with accessibility from all sides and elevators to all levels of the building, improved food services, we are replacing the original snack bar kitchen, which dates back to 1968, and you can expect a much improved dining experience. As I shared with the faculty and staff during that convocation, 1968, long time. That's the year I graduated from high school. So go figure, and that's how long we had that facility here. While some of these renovations are taking place, the gold rush will be temporarily located to a rejuvenating Gallagher Hall facility, that dining area there. And beginning next fall, the food court will move here into this facility here while the renovations continue. And again, all of this is temporary and the result will be well worth it. Vice President Thorne tells me that we are at 25% completion of the project, and more importantly, no cost overruns at this time. This is the end of my formal presentation, but please let me remind you that everything we do here at Cal U is for you, our students. I can't stress that enough. As I've often said, our core mission is to provide you with a great academic education. And I thank you as students for all you do to make Cal U a vibrant and interesting campus. We will keep working hard in order to ensure that Cal U stays that way for many years to come. <laughs>